Paul George. One of the premier two-way forwards in the game and a perennial all-star was passed on nine times in the 2010 NBA draft. Not only has he become a top 20 player in the game, but he has become a mentor to many up-and-coming young players and has started what is now one of the most popular basketball podcasts in America in Podcast P. With that said, let's take a look at what happened to the nine players drafted before Paul George. At number one, we have John Wall. He was with the Wizards for the first 10 years of his career, and he quickly developed into one of the best playmaking guards in the NBA, and he was also one of the fastest players in the league. He had his best year in 2017, averaging 23 points, around 11 assists, and 4 rebounds with 2 steals. He unfortunately struggled to stay on the court after that, and eventually had a heel injury and a torn Achilles during the 2019 season. He was then traded before the 2021 season to the Rockets for Russell Westbrook. He had a nice bounce back year in Houston, but signed with the Clippers in the 2022 offseason after sitting out the entire 2022 season. He was then traded back to the Rockets at the 2023 trade deadline, and is still a free agent as I'm making this video. At number two, we have Evan Turner. He spent his first three and a half years in Philly and was then traded to Indiana during the 2014 season. He spent half a year there and then signed with Boston in the 2014 offseason, and he had his most notable years there, leading the Celtics back into playoff contention as their sixth man. After he signed with Portland on a four-year deal in the 2016 offseason and was then traded to Atlanta in the 2019 offseason, and he never played in the NBA after the 2020 season. Currently, he hosts the Point Forward podcast with former Philly teammate, Andre Iguodala. At number three, we have Derek Favors. He only spent half a season with the New Jersey Nets before being traded to Utah in the Darren Williams trade. He was with Utah until 2019 and had his best years in 2015 and 2016, averaging around 16 points and 8 rebounds. He then spent the 2020 season with the Pelicans and then signed back with the Jazz that offseason. He spent the 2021 season in Utah and was then traded to the Thunder. The Thunder traded him to the Rockets in the 2022 offseason, but he was then waived and hasn't played in the NBA since. He did sign a 10-day contract with the Hawks in January 2023, but he never played, and he's still looking to make an NBA comeback. At number four, we have Wesley Johnson. He spent his first two seasons in Minnesota, then he spent one season with Phoenix, then two years with the Lakers, and was then with the Clippers from 2015 to 2018. He then signed with the Pelicans in the 2018 offseason, but was then traded to the Wizards midway through the 2019 season, and then he never played in the NBA after. He spent a year playing pro ball overseas after that, and he was actually just on the Clippers summer league staff, and he's been a player development assistant on their coaching staff for about the past couple years. At number 5, we have DeMarcus Cousins. He spent his first six and a half years in Sacramento before being traded to the Pelicans, and he developed into one of the best centers in the NBA. In New Orleans, he formed a nice all-star front court duo with Anthony Davis, but unfortunately, he tore his Achilles midway through the 2018 season. He then signed with the Warriors in the 2018 offseason and made his first NBA Finals, coming off of his Achilles injury. Unfortunately, after that, he struggled with injuries over the next year with a torn quad in the 2019 playoffs and a torn ACL when he signed with the Lakers in the 2019 offseason. He did rehab well, though, and played with Houston and the Clippers in the 2021 season and got some good playing time in the Clippers' Western Conference Finals run. He also had a solid season with Milwaukee and Denver in 2022. He actually played in Puerto Rico early on in 2023, but he's still trying to get back into the NBA at the moment. At number six, we have Ebk Udo. He spent his first one and a half years with Golden State, and then he was traded to the Bucks with Monte Ellis for Andrew Bogut. He was in Milwaukee until 2014, and then he signed with the Clippers in the 2014 offseason and spent one season there. After he spent a few years overseas and then signed a two-year deal with the Jazz in the 2017 offseason. He didn't play in the NBA after the 2019 season, but he recently joined the Hawks coaching staff in June 2023 to join Quinn Snyder. At number 7, we have Greg Monroe. He spent his first five years in Detroit and then was traded to Milwaukee and spent his next two and a half years there. He was traded to Phoenix midway through the 2018 season but finished the season with Boston. Then in 2019, he was with Toronto, Boston, and Philadelphia. He was out of the NBA for two seasons until spending the 2022 season with four different teams. He last played for the Jazz during that season, but he hasn't been in the NBA since. He did sign to play in Puerto Rico in March 2023, similar to DeMarcus Cousins, and he is eyeing an NBA comeback. At number 8, we have Al Farouk Aminu. He spent his first season with the Clippers, then he was traded to New Orleans in the Chris Paul trade. He spent the 2015 season with Dallas, and then signed with Portland in the 2015 offseason, and he had his best seasons there, and was there for four years, and made a conference finals run with Portland in 2019. He was then with the Magic in the 2020 and 2021 seasons, but he kind of struggled to stay on the court with injury issues. He was then traded to Chicago during the 2021 season, 
but he hasn't played in an NBA game since. Currently though, in 2023, I couldn't really find much information on what he's up to now. At number 9, we have Gordon Hayward. He spent his first 7 seasons with Utah and developed into an all-star forward by his last season there. He signed with Boston in the 2017 offseason, but he unfortunately broke his ankle in the first game of the 2018 season and was out that whole year. He did bounce back well from his injury and eventually had a solid 2020 season and helped lead the Celtics back to the conference finals in the bubble. He then signed with Charlotte in the 2020 offseason and is going to the last year of his contract there, but he has struggled to stay on the court with various injuries. That is what happened to all nine players drafted before Paul George. As I say in every one of these videos, if you have any suggestions for a player I should do next, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.